Hey guys, so the S21 Fan Edition uh, recently got updated to One UI 6, which is based on Android 14. Uh, this is the S21 FE in green. Uh, I've had this phone, uh, I think, for the past, I think, two years and stuff. So it's, uh, it was uh, quite good for to receive a refresh uh, to Android 14. Now, what's new on Android 14? In this video, I'll give you my impressions uh, regarding One UI 6 on S21 FE, right, uh, based on Android 14. Now, uh, the first thing I'm sure you can see in the, the lock screen, it's actually quite different because uh, the clocks, uh, they have new styles now, but they just log in, right? Um, now, the first thing that you see, uh, especially in regards to apps, uh, the, 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 what can I say, the interface is more cleaner. They opted now to put, uh, especially the names of the apps in one straight line so as to make uh, it uh, seem cleaner you know if you notice uh, in the previous version of one ui you used to get double lines uh, especially if the name of the app was actually longer so that is streamlined now uh, if we pull this down you can see as well there are some changes that have happened to the notifications uh, they are more detailed if you want you can just click here and you'll get more detailed uh, notifications uh, perhaps this is not the best example but if you have uh, let's say uh, multiple Facebook notifications when you click the drop down arrow you get to see the the cards and when you click those cards as well you get to see more details about uh, for example just like what I've done with this um, uh, Gmail notification all right so there's that there's also options now to customize the notifications as well if you come here uh, you decide okay which notifications you want that feature was already there but if we go to uh, just go back to notification settings you can now sort the notifications here by priority or by time uh, you can do that uh, you can even come to advanced settings where you get more of uh, more options on how to customize notifications there are also now widgets widgets on the home screen uh, they've been uh, redesigned uh, let me just for example this way the widget when you click on it you see that the weather widget has new animations uh, depending on uh, what sort of weather phenomenon is happening in your location and it's more detailed uh, if you even if you just scroll down you see that the weather widget and the weather uh, app itself have been upgraded actually uh, most of the apps uh, or the native apps on on uh, samsung have been uh, redesigned for example even if we go to uh, even the settings let's just go back for example let's go to battery settings you can see uh, battery setting the whole um, settings have been uh, redesigned as you can see um, it's been redesigned actually I actually like the, the new design it's actually cleaner uh, they're actually cleaner now this is not just uh, limited to the battery app uh, there have been a host of features actually uh, the bulk of the um, Android 14 or One UI 6 it actually looks quite different from the previous version okay now let's go to uh, this uh, quick panel if we scroll down uh, initially if you scroll down you get the notification but when you scroll down again you see that you get the the quick panel now the quick panel uh, settings have changed uh, for example you have access to Bluetooth Wi-Fi easy access to those and uh, your the other apps are here when you can go to the next page to view all of them that they, they've all been stacked here now if you look on on even the the brightness here you can see that the animation has changed for example when you click on it you get taken to like uh, the home screen so that you see the effect of the brightness when you let go you you uh, return back to the quick panel now this is actually a good uh, feature to have because now you don't have to go digging into the settings to find these features all right so that's that now uh what else is here um the whole interface uh, is actually smoother i know this one uh, it's currently on 120 hertz on uh 120 hertz but the whole interface is, is actually currently smoother i would say that uh, ever since i upgraded uh, the only issue that i may say that i may have is to do with the battery i've noticed that the battery is draining a bit quicker now obviously that is expected uh, especially with uh, new software updates now uh, i'm sure they will bring other updates to make sure that they fix these sort of issues all right so now let's look at uh, at widgets uh if we come here uh, under widgets you see we get different types of widgets i want to come to um 
the weather widget so that you see the um what is the weather all right the sort of widgets that are there uh, there's this one uh different types of widgets let me just click hold this maybe put that in a stack now it's in a stack we have two widgets uh as you can see it's more detailed if you if you come it gives you more details i actually like uh, like this style now there are also uh some updates in the gallery uh if we come to the gallery app here uh, for example let's just click on this image right here um now when you press and hold an object obviously in here you are able to copy this on its own you can actually copy it and go share it somewhere uh, i'm sure you've you've seen this um feature on ios where you get to isolate an object like in this instance i can save this as a as a sticker it's saved as a sticker or let me just click on it you can even have the option to share it as you can see it's more like a a, a png so i can share it uh, on whatsapp or yeah i can share it on whatsapp or any other social media now uh, object eraser let it do its magic for instance i want to get rid of this vehicle here okay and then i'll just press erase okay so the car has disappeared i just selected a bit of the car and it has disappeared yeah so now um let's talk about the lock screen now you are able to customize the watches on the lock screen uh for instance let me just press and hold let's just click this and hold and go to wallpaper and style right under wallpaper and style i'm just gonna click and hold on the oh on the uh, lock screen um, tab right here. So now uh, if we click and hold the swatch, we get to see different settings. For example, uh, if you look here, you can see that the text, there are different sort of text you can use depending on uh, what you like, right? Uh, there's that, there's that. So depending on what you like, you can also change even the styles of the of the clocks right and as you can see even the notifications will still be down there uh, that style that style but let me just leave it with this style and maybe even that font so you can actually save it you can also even change the colors of the, the of the the text of the clocks there but i'll leave it at automatic so that it blends let me just click save and now it's been saved so when you go to the lock screen you can see that the watch uh the, so when you go to the lock screen now so when we go to the lock screen you can see that the, the watch is there now you can also have different lock screens uh, depending on the modes that you have let me just click here as you can see uh let me just click one of the modes right now uh enter into that now i've created a few modes here but if you come to work you see that there's a different uh wallpaper when it comes to that mode i can also come to let me just click hello maybe sleep all right okay sleep just goes back to the default that's there you click and hold again when i'm driving there's a different lock screen wallpaper I'll just wait for you to initialize so there's a different lock screen wallpaper for that so there are actually plenty of changes that have taken place on uh, one ui6 I actually love the whole design i feel like it is uh, refreshed and uh yeah I, i'm sure many people are going to like it uh, especially in my case i think when they solve the battery issue which i'm currently facing i'm sure with an update they'll be able to fix that but yeah this is this is it this is uh, one ui6 based on android 14. Uh, most of the things have been updated and uh, i think it's a it's actually a very good uh, it's actually a very good uh, update in my opinion so pretty much in a nutshell that is uh one ui6 uh for samsung s21 fe uh now uh if you are already on one ui6 what do you make of the experience and if you are waiting for one ui6 to update your phone yeah this is what you can expect i hope i covered uh, a few things if you have questions regarding this just let me know in the comment section down below and i'll do even another video just highlighting some of the features included in uh, one ui6 if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up otherwise i'll see you in the next video